Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to do an audio commentary of Naked Soldier from 2012. This is a Hong Kong action movie. The movie is directed by Marco Mack. He's a nobody. And in the lead role we find Jennifer Z. I think uh, she is the sister of Nicholas Z. I can't pronounce the sure name of uh, those two actors. And uh, we also find uh, Samo Hung and uh, Andy On in uh, some other roles here. And Philip Nug. I guess this movie is pretty terrible, uh, but uh, let's watch it. So I'm going to start the movie now. And here are a group of soldiers. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, there is Samo Hung with a gun. All right. A man jumps out the window into the water. Oh, it's the police. So uh, Samo Hung is a cop. And now they are shooting the bad guys. And Samo Hung is fighting and shooting some bad guys. Oh. It's a lot of drugs, tons of drugs. What an opening. Wow. That was awesome. Naked soldier. Now for the international news. Interpol expector Lung Chi Kyung successfully foiled a large drug trafficking operation. press conference with uh, Samo Hung and the White Devil. And now uh, Samo Hung is in the kitchen cooking some food. 1980? Oh, it's in the past. Some White Devils. Oh, a VHS tape. And they're watching a VHS tape uh, with uh, some kids. Oh, I guess uh, it's uh, the daughter of uh, Samo Hung. They are so happy. And there's a car outside, Florida. Oh, it's a bunch of uh, bad guys. And out steps a woman uh, with a cane. The big question is, is she sexy? Are you hot woman? Daddy, it's so noisy. So that's the daughter of uh, Samo Hung. Why are you coming down? You are still having a fever. The daughter is sick. Yeah, so this reminds me of uh, Naked Weapon. And there are the bad guys. They are killing the whiteys. Oh no, they are killing everyone except for Samo Hung, I guess. And <laughs> the old woman. <laughs> There's an old woman there in a wheelchair. 
Are they going to kill her too? Oh no, they killed uh, Samahong's uh, wife. And there is the sexy cane woman. Come on, Samo. Okay, so... Nah, she's not that sexy. And... Oh my god, she shot the old woman in the wheelchair. She had a sort of weapon in her cane. A bullet came flying out. And there is the daughter. And the bad guys are going to kill the daughter, but the cane woman stops them. I like this little girl. And now Samahong switches off the circuit breaker. It's dark. He picks up a knife and he starts attacking the bad guys. But the bad guys uh, just shot Samahong. Oh no. So Samahong killed one of the bad guys, uh, but he got shot by another bad guy. Look at that cane uh, woman. She thinks she's so sexy. And now they're planting a bomb as Samahong uh, stands up. Kills one of the bad guys. Heroic music. What is taking so long? And the cane woman sees that the Samahang is still alive, but the daughter is in the car and the bomb blows up the house. And there they drive off. The daughter is crying while the cane woman was in shock. And now Samahang uh, is at the hospital. They are going to operate on him. And there is the daughter. She has uh, a sort of uh, VR headset on her. What are they going to do with the daughter? Your dad is already dead. You have no more kin. There is only me, says the cane woman. I am your mother. Your dad is already dead. You are not my mother. My, You don't have a father. I am your mother. Oh, so uh, they are brainwashing her. This girl's will is very strong. But I've adjusted the machine to a high level. Okay. Adjust to level 9. They're going to erase her memories. Will they fry her brain? I guess not. I give uh, the cane woman a uh, 6 out of 10 on the hot scale. She looks uh, cheap, but... Uh, okay, I give her a 5. She looks like a prostitute, but... Uh, yeah. Not a stupid movie. Oh, 1995. Okay. I guess that was in the past what we saw just now with the summer hung, that the opening was in the present. You have been working in the police force for five or six years. Oh, that's Andy on. The superiors have a good impression of you. Now we are sending you overseas and cooperate with the Interpol. For an important case, thank you sir. 15 years ago, an Interpol agent, Lung Chi Kyung, uncovered an international drug smuggling case. No, so that was in the present what we saw just right now. 
but later his whole family in the States were murdered. Oh, looking cool with sunglasses, Officer Bang. Okay, so they are going to talk to Samohang. He is uh, retired. There is uh, Samohang. Okay, so uh, the Kane Woman's uh, organization uh, is uh, still uh, terrorizing the world. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, the Samohang attacks uh, a woman who served him uh, tea or coffee. And he starts punching uh, her in the face. He knocked her out. Are you crazy? This is the Tea Lady Queen, uh, Auntie San. This is the Tea Lady Queen. <laughs> Don't go over. Oh, she had a mask on her, like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Their face disguise technique have deteriorated. <laughs> the color is wrong. But be careful, she'll sue you for molestation. <laughs> and she has a bum on her. This cup of uh, coffee must have uh, poison inside. If we don't drink, she'll activate the bum on her body. We'll all be dead, I know. I also want to live. Oh, they're smiling. Are you okay? Okay, so they were testing out Samohang. She uh, works for them. She's one of our agents. Came here to test you. And now they are showing Samohang uh, a video. They scanned him. They have a sort of supercomputer. Oh, so uh, he's gonna work for them now. And now they start fighting, Samohang and uh, the leader. And they on. Samohang won. Okay, I will cooperate with you. Now they are looking <laughs> at the video. I'm not sure if this subtitle is uh, correct. This is the base of a brother violence who have never been seen. <laughs> and these five are international drug traffickers. Taiwan's Steel Wolf. America's Little Jimmy. Japan's Jia Tung. Thailand's Tiger's Wife. And Holland's Henry. <laughs> Holland's Henry. They've already sworn in as brotherhood and became a corporation and blackmailing the whole underworld. Their alliances would make South Americans the drug lords very unhappy. According to our intelligence, the South Americans the drug lords have hired Madame Rose to take care of the corporation. Oh, so Madame Rose, that's the cane lady. We thought of using them as a lure to entice Madame Rose. But they overheard the news and are all in hiding. Okay, so Samohang wants them to open the case of his missing daughter. If he's going to cooperate uh, with them. I have a feeling that she is still alive. Okay, there we have uh, the daughter played by... Uh, what was her name again? Jennifer Z. Let me check. Jennifer Z. Yeah. Or Z. She's at the library reading a book using uh, her computer. Oh, a man is uh, 
trying to uh, go out with her. What a goofy man. He looks like a loser of a pervert. Oh, you got on a new email. Phoenix, tonight at 9 p.m. behind Peach Garden Street. Steel Wolf would go to La Ma's funeral. You will take action there. After your mission, go back to your school. Be careful. Bye bye. Okay, so she's gonna kill one of the, the five. What? In God's name, is uh, she uh, wearing? Oh my God! She looks like a uh, fish. Is that supposed to be sexy? Yuck! Wait a moment, is that the Jennifer Z? I Fay tonight at 11 p.m. Las Vegas, Tambi apartment. You will pose as a call girl. Jimmy will be waiting for you there. You'll have to kill him within 15 minutes. He has a lot of bodyguards. Be careful. Bye bye. Oh my, this is a cheap naked weapon clone. And there is another woman. Salina, yes. Another assassin. Tonight at 11 p.m. Ryukumu Jia Chang Jim. He is a kickboxing expert. Goes there every Sunday to practice. Kill him. After your mission is complete, come back to base. I will celebrate your birthday. Be careful. Bye bye. Okay, she was pretty hot. But look at that, the woman on the left. Oh my god. She is... Uh, ugh. The woman on the right is uh, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. The woman on the right is pretty, pretty. Norwegian English for you. And there is the weird looking uh, woman. Oh yeah. The camera is zooming in on her body. And there is uh, the guy she's going to kill. Oh yeah. Strange uh, choice of uh, music here. It's like a gladiator music. They are making out and uh, I guess she's going to kill him uh, soon. Will she do something like they did in Naked Weapon? Some bad uh, chiropractor stuff? Oh yeah, what is it? Oh, has she hidden a weapon? Oh yeah, there's a knife. Yeah. But he throws her away. Oh yeah, he's angry. And she dropped the knife and she's getting beat up. Come on, man. Kill her. And she kicked him. Slow motion fighting. She picks up a towel. Stupid hair. Oh yeah, she's using the towel as a weapon. But he blocks that. <laughs> He's trying to drown her. He has turned her upside down. She is still looking for her knife. Yeah, she grabs the knife. She cuts his leg. And now uh, she killed him. And uh, the actress is uh, terrible. 
I'm not sure where they found her. And now she has a smoke grenade. Yeah, she's going to attack the bodyguards. There are about uh, 10 bodyguards there. And she uh, slices them up. Okay, she was a little more sexier in this scene. But that's stupid here. Oh yeah. And uh, she poses, of course. There is the kickboxing uh, champ. And there is the second uh, assassin coming uh, with a birthday cake. Today is my birthday, where is my present? And she has killed uh, <laughs> one of the men. Look at that uh, outfit. She's uh, like, uh, what was her name again? A street fighter, Chang Li. She goes into the ring. Happy birthday. First I'll eat you. Or should I eat the cake first? Oh, I would uh, have gone for the woman. Unless you win me, then you can eat. Win you. Come here. And she kicks him. The fight is on. I've said that if you win me, then you can eat. I like. Oh, subtitles. Okay, so uh, she is fighting. Oh, he discovers that uh, she has killed uh, his uh, bodyguards. You killed them. And she fights holding the cake. And now she uh, shoves the cake uh, into the uh, man's face. She is just too uh, fast for him. She's too powerful. <laughs> she has uh, some really hard kicks. Oh no. Oh. Okay, she killed him uh, with a punch to the forehead. And that uh, didn't uh, look like a hard punch. And there we have uh, the funeral. Yeah, the third uh, assassin played by Jennifer Z. Mummy, mummy, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. I guess that's... Oh, no, I thought it was uh, Madame Rose, the cane woman. But uh, it's a goofy guy uh, with a cowboy hat. The Australian guy, I guess. He <laughs> looks like an Australian. A goofy Australian. Crocodile Dundee. Oh, he has a bad attitude. Sister-in-law, you think you are very brave, you think you can fight very well, why don't you look at yourself and see what standard you are? Ten lives would not be enough for you to die. Tear down the framed photo. Don't beat my daddy, stop, get out, you really got guts. I've told the people outside not to do Lao Ma's funeral. So you're not giving me face, oh my god, what a loser. I'm his wife. Why can't I perform the ceremony? You don't give me face, so he slapped her. Take her and use her. Stop, get away. Oh, the lights goes out. I guess it's Jennifer. Oh yeah, there she is. Hide. 
so she's running uh, on the roof and uh, there she drops down and uh, she starts uh, shooting doing some uh, chubby and fat uh, shooting Yeah, it's a standard uh, Hong Kong action choreography. Spends a lot of time in the air doing flips and uh, the usual uh, acrobatic uh, action scenes. And the camera zooms in uh, on the guns and uh, the actors. It's not the type of action choreography I'm happy to see. But uh, that's the price you have to pay when uh, the actors themselves can't uh, fight in real life. Thank you, you be. And there Jennifer shot the goofy Australian guy. But the problem now is that one of his henchmen teared off Jennifer's camouflage, face camouflage or what you call it. And now the wife of the deceased man has seen her face. So what is Jennifer gonna do now? Miss, I've seen your face. I know I can't live any longer. But I don't blame you. You have avenged my husband's death. I am indebted to you. But I beg you to let my two kids go. They are very young. They won't divulge your identity. If you want to kill me, kill me alone. She closes her eyes. She turns around and I guess Jennifer is gone. And yes, Jennifer is gone. She couldn't kill the woman. Oh, S. Late again. When did you come back midnight? Oh. Okay, so that must be Jennifer's uh, roommate. Jennifer is sleeping. Jennifer is crying. 1992. Jennifer is uh, training. <laughs> Look at that costume. This is a terrible training uh, montage. So we see uh, the assassins uh, are training here. I'm not sure what's going on there. The editing is uh, pretty bad. And there is Madame Rose. A guy got killed. The editing was so terrible. And now Jennifer is crying. Jennifer is having a nightmare. Wow. 
Why are your eyes so red? Did you cry last night? Oh my god, that woman's uh, teeth. Oh my god, stop smiling woman. Go and get some braces. And there is uh, Andy on. I think that's Andy on. My body is still okay. I can still continue to teach. You have to take care. Good morning, professor. Oh, there is uh, Jennifer. Wen Jin, how are you? Let me introduce. This is Sam. I'm Wen Jin. He's from Interpol. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, Andy on. He's here for a meeting and came to see me. He's one of my best students. Wow, Interpol. It's really cool. Last year you guys captured those terrorists that bombed the Moscow underground. I've heard that the last World Cup security was done by you guys. Really great. This is my name card. You can look me up. Sam Wong. Bye bye. Is Andy on in love? Are we watching Naked Weapon again with the Maggie Q and Daniel Wu? Or Daniel Woohoo? Okay, so they have called uh, Samahang. Steel Wolf was killed by a girl who concealed her face. Those alive did not see her face. All they know is she is very good. Those trained by Madame Rose have the same kind of method. This time it's slightly different. She only killed two men. All the rest are either shot in their arms or legs. She didn't really want to kill. I found a cloth on the scene that has blood on it. Possibly belonging to the assassin. The sole witness won't say anything. America's little Jimmy and Japan's Jia Cheng was killed at the same time. If Madame Rose knows that her assassins have let go of witnesses, she will come and kill Lao Ma's whole family. Wait till I've arranged my kids' things. I'll come over. How do you have more kids? I've adopted one. She's been keeping me company all these years. She's grown up. Who is that? Is that a hottie? She uh, scratches her butt. Hey kid, bring the ball over. I'm not a kid, I'm Enzu. Okay, oh no. That's a Chinese uh, who's going to pretend that uh, she's a boy. She's doing that goofy face. <laughs> oh, that's so uh, childish. Oh no, she did that. <laughs> that's so childish. Oh God, sometimes I hate Asian movies. And now she's going to play basketball. That's her uh, introduction. She looks like a guy. And she's gonna show the boys that uh, she's the best in the world in playing basketball. What a stupid introduction. Jesus Christ. Oh my. And there is Samang. He isn't happy. I told you not to create trouble. He's scolding her. Pull your ears. I'm not sure how old uh, she's pretending to be. 
but she looks like she's 22 years old and pretends to be 14 years old. Maybe she has lost some of her brain cells. That is her uh, report card. She isn't a good student. Samohan wants to scold her after he has eaten. That uh, didn't come as a surprise. Okay, so I have to say so far, I'm disappointed uh, with the movie. There's not many hot uh, sexy scenes in this movie at all. The stupid title uh, fooled me. Naked Soldier. There's not much uh, nudity in this movie. I should have known better since it's an old summer hung in the movie and now uh, father and daughter are sort of uh, fighting while they are eating a stupid scene and the stupid music and the movie tries to be charming with that stupid the daughter character Let's see it out. What in God's name? That effing hair? Are you serious? Xiao Feng, I knew you got injured in Taiwan. Goofy looking guy with ugly hair is talking to Jennifer. I'm very worried. Are you alright? Don't worry, I am fine. Are there any scars? This question will get its answer very soon. This time, the Interpol will catch you sooner or later. Oh, that's the sexiest uh, assassin. By then, don't get us involved. Look at that hair. Oh my god, Asians. And hair. Oh my god. I'm so glad I'm white. I don't have to look that stupid with that ugly hair. That hair and those clothes. So the hottest assassin is in love with that the goofy guy, but he's not interested in her. And there's Madame Rose. Everyone have completed their assignment. Thanks for the hard work. I've received the money. They will get paid a large sum of money. Xiao Feng, you've committed a great mistake. Oh yeah. You're too kind hearted. Did you know that you should kill the mother and the two kids? I know my mistake. If there is a reward, there is also punishment. Your mistake could bring harm to others. So she doesn't get any money. <laughs> Those shoes. Oh, the sexy assassin uh, gives uh, Jennifer the evil eye. She wants that man for herself. Yeah, I can see that uh, Jennifer's... Uh, Looks like Nicholas Z. They are very much alike. And now Jennifer is home. Who is it? Black Dragon. That's the goofy guy with the hair again. Oh, he wants Jennifer. Mother, send you hair. All right. I don't need you. Mother, send me to help you. Tidy up your mess. Can't we let the mother and two kids go? If White Snake is here, <laughs> they will die horribly. I promise you, they won't die a painful death. Go. I have no choice. Go. I just want you to know, no matter what happens, I will not let anyone hurt you. Oh my man. What a prince. Go and get a haircut. And there is the roommate with the, the ugly teeth. 1992. There is Madame Rose. Tonight is an attack test. You must cross this maze within two hours. Oh my god, look at that outfit. 
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Is this supposed to be sexy? They look like uh, wizards. Okay, so they are running into a maze and there is a lot of soldiers there that are going to try to kill them. Jennifer talks to Madame Rose. We are all your children. Do you have a heart? And Madame Rose uh, slaps Jennifer. Big mouth. If you don't go, I will kill you first. And there is uh, the goofy guy with the hair. I don't remember his name. Black Dragon or something. And someone is uh, shooting uh, at them. Goofy guy with the hair is uh, coming down and stabs the soldier. And he kills a second one. Jennifer doesn't do anything. It's the dragon guy who's uh, taking care of business. Or uh, the man with the goofy hair. And close combat. Now he's in trouble. Where is Jennifer? Isn't she gonna save him? Yeah, gunshot. Jennifer shot the, the soldier. She saved uh, the man with the hair, the mighty, mighty hair. She's having a nightmare again. Jennifer should have been in a nightmare on Elm Street. She's a dream queen. Now uh, Jennifer is walking around and there is Andy, Andy on. But uh, Jennifer Z looks really old. I'm not sure how old she was when she played this role in 2012, but she looks older than uh, Madame Rose that uh, she calls uh, mother. She has eye contact with uh, Andy, Andy on. When Jin came to look for the professor. I'm currently on a case. We'll stay a few more days in Taiwan. That's why I came to see you when I'm free. What case? A trial boss was having a funeral. Ooh, his enemies came and messed things up. A masked lady assassin killed them. The assassin escaped. Oh, Jennifer. Where's the professor? He's feeling unwell and is resting in the dormitory. Maybe the professor has uh, a connection to the terrorists or uh, the assassins. And Andy on uh, gives her some books that she can read. Oh, I can feel its romance in the air. Can you feel it? All right. Andy on is just looking at her. Oh, you beauty. But. Do you know, Jennifer, I'm more in love with your brother. He had so cool hair. <laughs> Andy on receives a call. 
Sir, Xiao P, what is it? DNA matching results is out. It's the same as brother Kuang's daughter who have been missing for 15 years. Does Kyung know about it? There is Sammo Hung, also known as Kyung. Sammo Hung is looking for a tutor for his daughter. The assassin in the Taiwan DNA match report is here. There is only one match. It's your daughter that have been missing for 15 years. Book for me a ticket to Taiwan immediately. Officer Wang knew that you would be anxious. He has already booked your ticket. What a man Andy On is. What a man. He's a gentleman. And there is Sam Hung. He has arrived. And there is Andy On. Very safe. Oh, that's the surviving woman and her two kids, Mrs. Ma. How's the child? She was frightened that day. She's having a fever. And now Samang tells her about uh, his uh, daughter, Madame Rose. He tells her everything. And uh, Andy Ann wears sunglasses inside the house. I think he did. Okay, so Samang just tells her everything we saw in the opening minutes. So Jennifer is supposed to be 25 years old in this movie. Well, she doesn't look like she's 25, but... Oh my god, this scene lasts too long. I just want to see my long lost daughter once. Hope you can fulfill my wish. My dead family and I will be very grateful. <laughs> what the f oh my god, this is not a sexy movie. Ah, now they are using a supercomputer. Okay, so now they are using a supercomputer to make a sketch of Jennifer or something. Mother. We received a video from Taiwan, Madame Rose. Oh no, she discovers Andy An and Sammo Hung. Long Chung Kang, you're really not dead. Enemies in a narrow road. Let me go, no need. I have a better candidate, his daughter. Oh no, that's the goofy assassin with that ugly hair. Cutie pie, okay, and there is a gay character. Oh my god, I'm Henry. Oh no, that was one of the guys they were supposed to kill, wasn't it? The five guys, they have killed three. And if I remember correctly, there was a guy that was named Henry that was on the hit list Henry you are 
I'm Jimmy's good buddy. And the fight is on. The gay Henry against the goofy looking assassin. And uh, the assassin uh, is in trouble and there is another gay character <laughs> sitting in a chair. Oh no, she has to fight two gay characters and he poses. She is getting uh, beat up by the two gay characters. Well, that was the most sexy scene so far. And they beat her up and they uh, throw her out of uh, the building. Through the glass it breaks. She is knocked out and she looks sexy. Oh yeah. Oh no, she died. The two gay men killed her. And there is a sketch of uh, Jennifer. What do you think, uh, Sama? Is that your daughter? And the on is uh, just like, why are they so alike? Is there any lead or new discovery? I think it should be soon. Officers Vang is in a daze for a while. Why? He's looking at a sketch of the assassin. That's my daughter's sketch. According to my analysis, you are soon going to be Officer Vang's father-in-law. <laughs> According to my instinct, I might be your father. Oh, 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 daddy. But really, oh my god. Is it really her? Do you think he's seen my daughter? It's hard to say. Let's ask him. It's no use. Officer Vang's mouth is tighter than a safe. You can't pry it open. Then I'm going home first. Oh, cheap humor. And Sam Hong returns home. Dad, the tutor is here. Oh, the tutor is Jennifer. Is my father fat? He's stout. Oh my god, I hate that tomboy character. What's the deal with the Chinese and the tomboy characters? Can you answer me? Hmm, can you? And now they are eating Jennifer, Samo and the tomboy character. And now Jennifer looks at uh, Samo Hong's uh, necklace. I'm not sure what the deal uh, was with that. And they are looking at each other. What's going on? Okay, so now Sama Hung is thinking, is she my daughter? If she's not, I'll treat her as my daughter. If she hit first, then I'll be dead for sure. If she's not my daughter, just kill her and discover later that she is my daughter. <laughs> then I would also be dead too. What to do? And Jennifer has uh, pulled out a gun. She's hiding it under the table. Samohang is going to turn on the TV while they are eating. He asks uh, Jennifer if it's okay and he puts on uh, a VHS tape uh, when uh, Jennifer was young having a birthday party. I think it is. No, it's uh, family time. Will Jennifer remember her father? And you can see that tears are filling up Jennifer's eyes.
and that annoying uh, tomboy character can't uh, stop talking. Who are you? Jennifer asks. I am your father. And uh, Jennifer stands up, puts the gun to the tomboy's head. Please kill that tomboy character. Kill her. She's so annoying. And uh, Jennifer runs. She left the tomboy character. Samahong is running after Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer jumps over a couch. Dramatic music is playing. And she's trying to run away from Samo. What a stupid scene. Look at that stupid scene. They looked like two hamsters running in a wheel. Oh my god. And there is that bodyguard of Jennifer, the assassin. What was his name? Black uh, something. He's uh, fighting uh, Samo and the guy pulls out a gun. Don't follow. I will kill you with uh, one shot. You will also kill me with that stupid hair. And there is the tomboy character. I hate these uh, Chinese characters. I'm a tomboy. And now uh, they have uh, the photo of uh, the assassin and it's Jennifer. Surprise, surprise. Why is your expression and Officer Vang's the same? And now Samahong uh, has grabbed uh, Andy on. He's angry. Please cool down. Did you see my daughter before? What are you hiding? Cool down. I went to Taipei to my former university and met a girl called uh, Wen Jin. Looks exactly like the sketch. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I wanted to tell you. But I am a bit confused. Why? I love her. <laughs> Stupid movie. Jesus Christ. What a terrible movie. So now Sama Hong uh, tells Andy on what happened in his uh, apartment. That maybe he got Jennifer's memory back again when he showed her the tape when she was young and had quality time with the family. And there is Jennifer again. She's in the study hall or library. And there is the guy with the hair again, black uh, mamba or something. He tells Jennifer that uh, her identity exposed and that the mother will uh, send someone to kill her. Where are you? Got something to show you. And uh, that's the goofy guy again. I guess he's an assassin. Yeah, he pulls out a gun, but... Uh, her guardian angel saves her and a group of assassins comes running in with the guns. Time for action. Some terrible music, generic electric guitar, stupid scene. Oh no, her roommate is also an assassin. 
she shot the guardian angel uh, with uh, some arrows and he knocked her out black dragon was his name he is uh, injured was the arrow uh, poisoned go he yells at jennifer and Jennifer picks him up. Let's go together. And there are the other assassins. And they take a jump. A real, real wire jump. And Jennifer lands on top of a black dragon. Oh, you lucky man. And I think he's dead. <laughs> Yeah. Black dragon, you must leave. Go quickly, go. Jennifer is crying. No, no, black dragon. Such an original name you had. Oh, black dragon. And there are uh, Samo and uh, Andy on. They find the black dragon. We're late. Back to Jennifer. Okay. So Black Dragon told Jennifer that uh, she has a microchip in her neck and she must take that out so that the mother, Madame Rose, can't uh, find her, can't track her. And she uh, starts cutting uh, her neck. Dramatic music is playing. And she leaves behind the microchip. And there is uh, Madame Rose. <laughs> and now uh, Andy on and Samang uh, is uh, planning how to get uh, Madame Rose out of her hiding uh, place and they want to plant a microchip on the summer hung in his neck but the summer hung uh, isn't interested he's afraid and the aunt's partner just injected the microchip into his neck. So it's too late for Samahang to complain now. Terrible humor. And now uh, the school called and uh, they uh, told uh, Samahang that uh, his tomboy just injured uh, three uh, classmates. Samhang is home. I'm back. And there is the tomboy character. Terrible actress. I want to punch that face. I want to punch it so hard. Maybe uh, there are some bad guys in the apartment. It looks like that. Yeah. She's uh, signaling uh, with her eyes. Don't go. But uh, Samahang is an idiot and there is uh, one of the assassins, she attacks Samahang, she has a sword and some really bad makeup, she looks like uh, an emo. And there is another woman assassin, the hot one, and she looks like a rock star.
God, I hate this uh, camera work. The angle and the editing, it's uh, pretty bad. I'm getting dizzy. And I don't like to get dizzy while watching uh, action movies. It gives me a headache. I expect uh, something uh, more out of a uh, Hong Kong movie. And there is Madame Rose. And there is Madame Rose. She uh, has uh, Samo Hong at gunpoint. Is that what it's called? Madame Rose has uh, Samo Hong under control. And there is Andy Aum, he gets in the car, uh, and there is Jennifer with a gun pointing at Andy Aum. She asks Andy Aum if uh, Samahang is her father. And he tells her about uh, the DNA test. Please don't let the Long Chi Kuang confront Madame Rose. He will die. And then the aunt tells Jennifer to please cooperate with Interpol so maybe she will get a shorter prison sentence or something. Because I love you and the aunt is so effing. And the on is a sad man. He reminds me of Daniel Wu in the Naked Weapon. And there we have Samahang and uh, his tomboy daughter. They are in a holding cell. And there is Madame Rose and uh, that emo assassin waiting for your daughter to save you. I will let your family reunite. And she wants to starve Samahang for or five days. Are you serious? It will take uh, 40 days before uh, Samahang will lose one uh, kilogram. Yeah, Samahang tells the tomboy daughter that uh, he has a lot of fat on him. This won't uh, hurt him at all. Look at that ugly facial expression of the tomboy daughter. And there is Andy on and his uh, unit. They are getting ready to attack uh, and find uh, Madame Rose. Oh, the hair. Wait a moment, who is that? Is that... There is Madame Rose. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh no, another goofy character. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that here. Look at that stupid bee. Who is that? Trying out your seat, taking over your place. Oh, even in your next life, you won't be able to take over me, Madame Rose tells her. No? And now the emo assassin attacks her, but uh, she kicks her away. Oh no, it's the gay couple. Oh, this is getting worse. That's uh, Anthony Wong, cousin Rose. Oh my god, what is he doing here? I love Anthony Wong. He's too good to be in a movie like this. Well, <laughs> he has uh, starred in many, many uh, terrible movies. 
Brother Jia Ming is looking for you. You dare betray me, betray you, so what? We, your children, our parents aren't all killed by you. Back then, you also betrayed your own mother. <laughs> that is why you are sitting in this seat. But your life is no good. She injured your leg. Now you're a cripple. Cousin, <sighs> you don't even know how to boast. Telling everyone you've got so much children. How come your figure have never changed? Oh, subtitles. Oh no, the gay couple, they are attacking. Madame Rose uh, attacks her nemesis. But uh, the nemesis uh, kicks Madame Rose away. That hidden gun uh, didn't work on the nemesis. And now uh, the emo assassin fights the gay couple. Time to get uh, dizzy. I think uh, it was uh, Corey Yoon uh, who was the action choreographer. I'm not uh, the biggest uh, Corey Yoon fan. And uh, the emo assassin gets beat up by the gay couple. They are really hurting her. And one of the gay characters is a knee master and he knees the emo assassin out in the pool and I think she is dead. That was a hard knee. Oh, Anthony Wong just shot uh, Madame Rose in her leg. And there is Jennifer. This movie also looks so cheap. Look at. The, the clothes they are wearing and uh, the hair. The world's most frightening assassin's boss is only this crappy. Still have the audacity to tell everyone that the assassins trained by you is the best. Just look at Afe. Can't even withstand an attack. Only Selena have the foresight. Once she met me, knows that she has a future with me. <laughs> Subtitles. And followed me. I had to accept money in exchange for service rendering. The subtitles are really wacky. But uh, Anthony Wong uh, tells Madame Rose how this works. And Madame Rose's uh, nemesis uh, just killed Madame Rose with a boot to the throat. Jennifer just uh, ran away. And uh, there are some bodyguards. And uh, he uh, is strung up it's uh, Jennifer yeah naked weapon position so uh, she's there to save uh, her father and uh, the irritating uh, tomboy And Jennifer just killed the guards. Sister, you're finally here. Oh my god. And uh, she uh, lets them out of uh, their cells. Daddy. Oh, Sama Hong is trying to cry, but uh, he didn't succeed with that. And we have uh, an emotional moment here. They're hugging, crying. Well, uh, Jennifer is crying and Sama Hong is trying to squeeze out uh, some tears. And now it's uh, escape time and there is Andy on and his uh, Interpol gang. 
they are going to attack the tower there's a watchtower there and uh, they are climbing the watchtower there are two guards there one dead two dead and two uh, gay guys and Anthony Wong and a woman with uh, the best hair ever and there lies Madame Rose and she's all dead and now there is a shootout the guards against Interpol and there is Jennifer she's confronting the bad guys Only you, says the gay guy. Ah, I'm a gay guy. There is someone, and there is the tomboy character. Please, someone shoot her. The fight is on. The guards are running towards the heroes and they are all wearing sunglasses. What a stupid scene. God, that uh, actress who plays the tomboy character. I want to swear, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I hate acting like that. I hate characters like that. But the acting just kills it. It's a effing disgrace. And all of the bad guys are wearing uh, sunglasses. And now Anthony Wong uh, lets loose the gay uh, couple. And they start fighting uh, Sama Hong and the tomboy. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. Oh god. The editing is uh, terrible. It's uh, hard to see what's going on here. And now it's uh, Jennifer against the uh, woman who killed the Madame Rose. Okay, so there is some terrible dialogue here uh, with the Summer Hong and the Tomboy who are sort of posing and uh, joking around after doing a father-daughter stunt against the gay couple. And Jennifer is running after the woman who killed uh, Madame Rose with uh, the ugly hair or the ugly wig. That's uh, an ugly wig. Okay, so now uh, Sammo Hong just uh, knocked out or maybe killed uh, one of uh, the gay characters. 
So now uh, just one gay character is standing. <laughs> He's uh, hard to kill. He's a hard, hard man. Oh, oh sorry. But uh, this isn't uh, great uh, action choreography. If you think uh, that you don't know what you're talking about, I'm sorry. You have to watch uh, more movies. But you can feel it's uh, Corey Yoon who has choreographed uh, the fights. It has that uh, Corey Yoon energy. But it doesn't matter if it has uh, the energy when it's not fun to watch. It's not fun to get dizzy. And it's not fun when you don't care about the characters and you know how this will end. There's not much at the stake here. He lost his sword and Anthony Wong uh, grabs uh, the gay man's sword. Oh, that electric guitar. Oh, so generic, so ugly. And the tomboy uh, daughter knees the gay guy and Anthony Wong just stabs the gay guy from behind. <laughs> so he killed uh, the gay guy. Does it feel good? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, Anthony Wong is going to fight Sammo Hung, are you serious? This is gonna be terrible. Yeah. And uh, they are fighting. <laughs> yeah. You can uh, clearly see that it isn't uh, Anthony Wong who is fighting uh, Sammo Hung. That's a stunt man. It's like a Kojak uh, starting to fight uh, John Claude Van Damme. Oh my God, Anthony Wong is so goofy. He's like a cartoon character from hell. And back to the wig uh, woman and uh, Jennifer. Somebody is waiting for you in hell. Oh no, the pose. The pose. What in God's name? More uh, guards? <laughs> in purple? With shields. Swords and shields and they are dressed in purple. What is uh, Jennifer wearing? A steel bra. <laughs> and back to Anthony against Samahong and the tomboy daughter. And now uh, they are kicking and hitting uh, Anthony Wong. He's like a character from uh, the Punch Out games. Now uh, Anthony Wong is down and uh, oh my god, Sammo Hung takes a Yokozuna finisher on him. You are very heavy and uh, Anthony Wong is uh, knocked out or dead. Father and daughter time. Dad, you're still saying this. Father and daughter in tune. Choke you to death fist. What was that? What was that supposed to be funny? And there is Andy on. We have arrived. Why are you here? Where is the other daughter? And there is the Jennifer with her steel bra. <laughs> And she's posing for the second time. Oh no, she breaks uh, the glass that holds uh, small stones. Uh, 
and uh, the glass uh, shards are cutting uh, the men in purple. They didn't like uh, the stones either. They were in trouble uh, when uh, the stones uh, fell to the floor. <laughs> and there is a wig woman again. Jennifer against the wig woman. Oh my god, they are posing so much. It's like uh, Donnie and uh, should have been in the movie. Maybe been a referee in this fight. The posers and the score, it doesn't fit in at all. You don't use that music in uh, martial arts uh, scenes. Oh! That wig woman was the woman who was in love uh, with the black dragon. Please surrender, don't think about it. B. Since young you've been despising me. All the good things have been taken away by you. I want to prove to you that I'm better than you. You're so arrogant. You knew that I love a black dragon. And you snatch him away from me. <laughs> and even want him to die for you. I want to avenge for black dragon. <laughs> I didn't snatch black dragon. I don't have anything now. Do you know what this love? <laughs> they are fighting and killing each other and talking. Since young I've been cooped inside this space. I haven't seen the outside world. We don't know what love is. <laughs> Your love for Black Dragon is one-sided. But I've always treat Black Dragon as my elder brother. <laughs> what a nightmare. I don't believe. <laughs> And now the wig woman is in trouble. If she falls down now, she will hit the ground and there's a lot of knives uh, sticking out from the ground. Jennifer is holding her with a rope. Let her go, Jennifer. Once someone told me that he loves me. I don't know whether to accept or to reject because I don't know what this love <laughs> But I think I know now, and she looks at Andy on. All my life, I've been controlled by mother. This is the wig woman who's uh, speaking. For the rest of my life, I don't want to spend it in jail, so I guess she will let go of the rope. She pulls out the knife, cuts the rope, and falls to the ground. And the knives are waiting for her. Slow motion. Dramatic music. Oh yeah. There she died. And I think Jennifer is laughing. She knows that. My god, this is a bad movie. And uh, Andy on is just, uh, hello, Jennifer, Venjin. I just heard you say, have you accepted me? Perhaps. And there is uh, Sammo Hong. Cough me, Jennifer says. But uh, Andy on is just like... I'll ask the judge to lighten your sentence. I'll wait for you. So Jennifer is a little kinky. Oh yeah.
the end. All right. Okay, so it's time for a short review. So this is a poor, poor clone of uh, Naked Weapon from 2002. And uh, Naked Weapon was a clone of uh, another movie, I guess. I don't remember what that movie was. Maybe it was Nikita. The first and biggest problem uh, with this movie is that there is no nudity here. The title is a Naked Soldier and you expect that this is gonna be a sexy movie with the sexy females. But uh, what the movie has to offer is uh, cheap uh, costumes, ugly wigs and a gay couple. And the gay couple brings out uh, the sexiness in this movie. Or not. So that's a big problem. Uh, this isn't a movie like uh, Naked Weapon uh, exactly. But I can say that uh, Naked Weapon was a really, really sexy movie either. But uh, it felt more sexy. <laughs> because of Maggie Q's <laughs> unsexy dancing. But it had uh, some uh, sexy scenes. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. But The Naked Soldier is uh, an action movie and nothing else. The action choreography is uh, mediocre. The editing is awful and uh, I didn't uh, feel my heart rate increase uh, during uh, the action scenes because I didn't care about any of the characters. The characters are horribly written. The movie never gives you a reason to care about uh, these uh, flat. Uh, characters and it has one character that you will hate and that is the tomboy character that uh, is uh, sort of a Samahang's daughter in the movie. I can't stand those Chinese tomboy characters, the women who are trying to pretend that they are boys and they're doing some uh, stupid facial expressions uh, while they're <laughs> while they are talking. I can't stand them. I hate them. I sincerely hate them. Look at my eyes. I effing hate them. The story is terrible. The characters are terrible. Summer Hong shows that he still can fight when he's uh, using his uh, upper body. There's not much uh, going on from the hip and down to the toes. But uh, he can still move his upper body and arms. <laughs> So is this a movie I would uh, recommend you to watch if you uh, sort of like the uh, Naked Weapon? And absolutely not. If you compare the action choreography to Naked Weapon, the action choreography is better in a Naked Soldier than in a Naked Weapon. The action choreography in a Naked Weapon uh, is more like watching uh, gymnastics than uh, martial arts. They are flipping and turning and doing uh, crazy stuff that doesn't make uh, any sense. The action choreography in uh, Naked Soldier has a purpose. A purpose I didn't feel in uh, Naked uh, Weapon. But uh, the editing made me dizzy and uh, it was tiresome to watch uh, the fight scenes because of uh, the fast cutting and uh, choppy editing. So what we are left with is that this isn't a sexy movie. The story is just trash. The characters are trash. The costumes, the wigs, they are trash. There's not many sexy women in the movie. I sat down here to watch a sexy movie named Naked Soldier. I expected to see some hot female naked soldiers and I didn't get my wish fulfilled. So I give Naked Soldier a 2 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm going to bed.